In this video, we're going to be finding out how to save multiple PDFs as one multi-page document in Photoshop. Or in other words, how to combine multiple pages or images or PDFs in Photoshop as one solo PDF. Now, if you're expecting this video to be how to save a single Photoshop document as a PDF, I won't be covering that in this video, but I have already made another video on that topic. So do check that out. I'll make sure I leave a link to that in the description below. So this video is going to be specifically how to save a PDF in Photoshop without any plugins, without having to use Acrobat, purely using a automation process that is built in within Photoshop. Great, so to start off with, what you need is you have to have two separate files that you're going to be saving as PDFs. So at the moment, I have this very, very simple document that I have made, and I've also got a second tab open with the second page of my PDF. Now, obviously how you make your PDF or what formats and what size it is, is entirely up to you. Everything works for this method. So it is a very, very simple process. It does have a few steps that you need to be aware of just to make sure that you're saving it correctly. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to save each document separately. So to do that, you need to go to file and save as, from here, you can save it as either a Photoshop document, a TIFF or a large document format. If you want to save it directly as a PDF while you're at it, go to save a copy. And here you can also save it as a JPEG or any other image document. It doesn't actually matter what kind of format you save it as, but to be safe, I'd always save it as either a Photoshop document, a PDF, a Photoshop PDF. It has to be a Photoshop PDF document. It's slightly different if you go to the format here you can see that this Photoshop PDF, it's not just a standard PDF document and it won't work if you don't do that. Or you can also save it as a JPEG. So I'm gonna cancel that because I've already saved my documents, but if you haven't done that already, then make sure you do that first. Then what we need to do is you don't actually have to have any of the documents open in Photoshop, which is handy. So it doesn't really matter which documents you have open at the moment, but all you have to do is go to file, automate, and then PDF presentation. And this brings up a window where we can customize how we want to save our PDFs as a multi-page document. So first of all, you have the option of either creating a multi-page document or a presentation. So I'm going to go through multi-page document, but just be aware you can also make a presentation with transitions and everything if that's what you're looking for. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to tell Photoshop which files we want to combine as PDFs. So you can either take this option, which says add open files, and this is going to add all of the files that you have open in Photoshop at the moment. So at the moment, I've got these two tabs open, these two documents. So if I press that, as you can see, it's added both of these files in. But say you don't have that open, if I just press on this, what I can do is I can remove this document just by pressing on remove and then selecting the next one and also removing. Now, if you don't have that open, just press on browse. And this will take you to a window where you can open and browse for your documents. So these were the two documents that I wanted to use. So I'll just press open. And as you can see, I've now got these two documents in this window. Now, of course, depending on how you open your documents, they might not be in the correct order. So if you want to rearrange the order, all you have to do is hold and drag. And as you can see, a blue line appears that allows me to drop it before the other file. And the same if I wanted to do this, if you have a whole range, you can quickly order all of them. I wanted one to be at the start and then two second. Say you wanted a duplicate of one of your files. So for example, say I wanted two pages worth of this PDF too. Then all I have to do is press on duplicate. And as you can see, it's duplicated this. All the same, if you've accidentally added an incorrect document, all you have to do is press remove. So now that we've selected our files, all we have to do is tell Photoshop what we want to include in our PDF. So to start off with, we have a few options for the background and font size. These tend not to matter because the formats will stick to however you've created them beforehand. And the next thing you can do is you can actually add metadata into the file itself. So this would actually appear on parts of your document. So for example, if I were to include the file name, this would include the name of the document I was about to save. So if I save this multi-page document as PDF1, PDF1 will be included on the document itself at the bottom. Furthermore, if you want to include the extension, 
So the extension is what type of document you're actually creating. So if you look at these examples here, we have PDF one, which is the file name. And then we have the extension, which is the .psd. And that tells me it is a Photoshop document. So that will also be included in the metadata on your PDF. You can also add a title, a description, who made the PDF, any copyright information, and any notes and EXIF info. Now the bit at the bottom is if you wanted to create a presentation. So if I quickly select that option, as you can see, you have some options for setting some of the transitions. So if you don't want any transitions, then don't press that, but you can add any transitions just by selecting this drop down and selecting any of the options that you want. I'm not going to be going over this too much. So I'm going to quickly go back to multi-page documents because that's the focus of this video. Now, I don't actually want to include the metadata in my documents, so I'm going to quickly undo that. But at the end, I will show you an example of how that does look if you chose to include it. So all you have to do now is press save. And then it just brings up a window where we can actually rename our documents that we're going to be saving. Uh, so I'll just quickly save this as PDF. Why not? And then all you have to do is make sure it's in the correct folder and then press save. And then we come to the standard save Adobe PDF window, which I also cover in the other video that I mentioned at the start, but you can basically set some of your PDF settings here. Just quickly, some presets, how uh, sharp you want your document, if you want any compression or security, for example, passwords, but I'm gonna quickly skip over that. You can always check the video I did on PDFs uh, if you want to find out more. Plus I tend to stick to the defaults anyway, because they tend to be good enough for me. So I'm just gonna press save PDF. And it's going to take Photoshop a few seconds to actually generate this multi-page document. And then once it's gone, it's all being created. So what we can do now is go to our finder. And as you can see, I've now got that finder open in the exact same folder as where we save our document. And here we have pdf.pdf. So all you have to do is double click on it here. It's already giving us a quick preview that shows that it's a multi-page document. I've just loaded it up in Acrobat, just going to change the view size quickly so we can actually see it. So here we have page one, and as you can see, just underneath we have page two. And that's how we create multi-page documents in Photoshop. Now I'll quickly show you what it's like when we add the metadata. So I'll just quickly go over all the stages again to save time in this video. And here we now have this second document open. Now, the first thing you will notice, like I said, it's added a margin around the edges of our PDF. And in this margin, it's included the metadata that I asked it to include, which is the file name and the extension. But as you can see, if you do want that included, then that's an option for you to. So hopefully you found this video useful, how you can save multiple PDFs in Photoshop. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer as many as possible. And do remember to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in learning more Photoshop tutorials.